12 foods to lower high blood pressure. One of every two adults in the U.S. has hypertension. With this in mind, a shift in your diet can have a tremendous impact on your health and overall well-being. Here are the top 12 foods to lower high blood pressure you can add on your next grocery list. 1. Bananas – Our heart muscles can contract regularly because of potassium and sodium. Whenever there's an imbalance of any of these electrolytes, it could lead to irregular heart contractions, low or high blood pressure. This fruit is a great source of potassium. It also flushes out excess water to maintain water balance within the cells. Bananas are versatile sweet-smelling fruits you can add with your oatmeal or fruit mix. Smash 1 to 2 bananas to make an all-organic pancake breakfast. Pregnant women could also benefit well from this anti-hypertensive component. Opt for bananas instead of potassium supplements as these contain more potassium that your body needs. 2. Pistachios, a recent study showed replacement of low-fat snacks for pistachio could significantly reduce blood pressure, particularly among those with type 2 diabetes. Pistachios contain phytosterols and monosaturated fat, a good component in helping lower bad cholesterol in the body. It's also high in fiber, vitamin B6, protein, and antioxidants to help counter bad effects of saturated fat in the body. Snacking on one serving of 1 ounce or 30 grams of shelled pistachios is enough to give you these nutritious benefits. Moreover, adding pistachios in your trail mix is a better alternative to low-carb snacks. These would also make a wonderful addition to an oat-based dessert to add flavor. If you're shifting to a vegan diet, you can add also use this in muffins, pudding, yogurt, and ice cream. 3. Seeds Seeds are one of the best 12 foods to lower high blood pressure. Adding unsalted seeds in your smoothie bowl or fruit mixes could have exponential benefits for your heart and guts. This type of food is packed with nutrients such as magnesium, potassium, fiber, and antioxidants. Fiber also promotes regular bowel movements, detoxify the gut, and remove saturated fat from the food you consume. Moreover, seeds contain monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat, which add to the good cholesterol to your diet. Consuming one quarter cup of flax seeds, squash seeds, sunflower seeds, or pumpkin seeds would be great snack treats to have in between meals. 4. Dark chocolate, this is truly a treat for all die-hard chocolate fans. Dark chocolate contains iron, antioxidants, and other nutrients. Compared with milk and white chocolate, this type of chocolate is bittersweet and doesn't add to your waistline. Studies reveal people who consume chocolates daily have a lower risk for coronary heart disease. Consuming 100 grams of dark chocolates daily could help lower high blood pressure. It's also a great treat for those who crave chocolates, minus the guilt. You can add these chocolates with your fruits or desserts. Also, adding these with fiber-rich fruits such as berries would make a nutritious snack for small frequent meals, especially if you're on a diet. 5. Leafy green vegetables Green leafy vegetables such as kale, spinach, romaine lettuce, and beet greens contain high amounts of vitamin K and potassium. Vitamin K is responsible for blood clotting, promotes healthy bone mineral density, and improves arterial elasticity. Furthermore, nitrates found in these vegetables also prevent heart disease. About 3 cups of green leafy vegetables daily are recommended for adults according to USDA. These vegetables come in pre-packed, mixed, or separate that you can purchase in your local grocer. It's best to go for darker leaves compared to lighter ones as these carry more nutrients. You can add small fruits, other vegetables, and some light seasoning or extra virgin olive oil for flavor. 6. Beetroot Because of its nitrate content, beetroot juice can significantly lower high blood pressure and improve the elasticity of your blood vessels. Beetroots are considered one of the 12 foods to lower high blood pressure because of its high amounts of vitamin C, fiber, potassium, vitamin B9, iron, and manganese. Whether you're eating it cooked, raw, or pickled, beetroots are nutritious, delicious, and guilt-free food. One cup of boiled beets would only give you about 40 to 60 calories. These are ideal snacks if you have type 2 diabetes too. You can roast beets with some goat cheese and spicy greens on the side. You can also toss this in the most vegetable salads for quick meal preparations. 7. 
Fish, particularly salmon, mackerel, and trout, fish have high omega-3 fatty acids, the good cholesterol to keep bad ones at bay. Trout, on the other hand, contains vitamin D, an essential nutrient to lower blood pressure for the elderly and individuals with cardiometabolic disease. Boiled or broiled fish is usually ideal for hypertensive individuals to avoid adding unwanted fat on the meat. However, using avocado oil or olive oil increases HDL good cholesterol, while reducing triglycerides and LDL bad cholesterol in the blood. You can use whole wheat bread or sourdough with fish to add fiber to your meal. Add steamed vegetables as a side dish for heartwarming meals fit for family dinners too. 8. Pomegranates, the angiotensin-converting enzyme ACE, in pomegranates maintains the integrity of the blood vessels. It also contains punachic acid, a component that flushes out bad cholesterols. Pomegranates are also a good source of antioxidants with blood thinner elements, preventing blood clots usually common in stroke and heart attack. Pomegranates can be consumed as raw, juiced, or mixed with other fruits. If you're diabetic, it's best to avoid this fruit since this is high in sugar. Juice counterparts sold in the market usually contain added sugars, so it's best to stick to organic pomegranate juice to get the most of its benefits. 9. Garlic, while it is a popular kitchen commodity gracing most of our dishes, garlic is also known for its medicinal properties. As one of the 12 foods to lower high blood pressure, its antihypertensive properties widen the blood vessel's walls and regulate the blood flow. Herbs like thyme, ginger, basil, hawthorn, and cardamom in your dishes not only improve its taste but also lessens your sodium intake. Typically, 2 to 4 cloves of raw garlic per day are recommended to exhaust its full benefits. If raw garlic is not available, 300 mg of garlic tablets would be a good alternative. 10. Oatmeal, it's low-fat, low-sodium, and high-fiber food that can be consumed as a snack or part of your regular meals. The fiber in oats absorb trans fat and saturated fat are absorbed out of the stomach walls, clean toxins in your guts, lower blood sugar, and enable your body to absorb essential nutrients from the food you consume. Oatmeal is commonly eaten for breakfast paired with fruits. To lessen fat content, you can opt for low-fat milk and fruits low in sugar content. Oats are also added to various desserts such as oat bars and pudding. For people on the go, overnight oats would be a handy recipe. Just combine half a cup of rolled oats with half a cup of nut milk. It's best to prepare this during your downtime so you can simply pull this out of the fridge when you need it. 11. Berries, these are sweet, delicious, and fruity treats that you can snack on in between meals. Berries contain flavonoids, a natural compound that can help lower high blood pressure. Berries such as blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries are ideally added in fruit bowls or eaten raw. These can also be served with pancakes as your breakfast meal. You can add these in your cereals or granola for a quick snack. To keep it fresh, you can also freeze this in your fridge for later use. 12. Yogurt, aside from keeping your bones sturdy, yogurt's probiotic bacteria could also prevent heart disease. Furthermore, consuming more or less two servings per week could lower the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. With healthy meals, choose low-fat yogurt with less than 1% of milk fat. Added sugars in sweetened yogurt could lower the protein content, so go for smaller tubs since these contain less sugar compared to bigger ones. If you like the video give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.